Hello, and welcome to Notes of Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 48, X Pages, Applying Themes to Form Tables, Practicing Good Form in a Theme Park. Okay, before we get really into the show, just a couple of Notes of Nine different things. Uh, first of all, the Notes of Nine celebration. This was a celebration of 100,000 views or downloads that uh, Notes of Nine had from when I started the show in 2009, about the summer, to uh, about a couple weeks ago. It was meant to be like a week-long celebration, but some things came up, and uh, I went to Vegas, and, and things like that. So it went on a little longer than, than I thought it would. But and when all is said and done is uh, between uh, two contributors, one of them new in this show here, and myself, we put out six new shows for over 75 minutes in new X Pages material. So I want to thank all my contributors, past and present, for be being a part of the show, and everyone for watching. And we're going to keep on going and doing some happy coding. Okay, if you do want to keep up with notes tonight... I just wanted to, every now and then I like to just go over things in case there's new people and stuff like that, where uh, I, I do have three websites now, which is quite honestly a, a pain in the tushy, um, but it's uh, it's what I have right now, and I'm, I'm working on consolidating them, and it just hasn't happened yet. So I've got notes com, which is the main primary site, but it's WordPress, and it stinks, and it's kind of on this, like, bad theme because this show is just it's hard to find shows so to make finding older shows easier that's what I use xpages.tv for um, so if you go there and I don't always have it updated instantly but but I do get there all the notes 9 especially the xpages shows are there so you can find them that way and then xpagescheatsheet.com is a website you can use to find the the two sheet sheets the original one and the one on social tools and there's a demo app that I've used for a lot of the, the notes of nine demos and a, a fake names database and 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 whatever else there so you can download the demo app which is actually the cheat sheet site itself uh, and pick it apart um, for social media uh, I started using Twitter recently for, for the Notes and Nine account. So if you'd like, follow at Notes and Nine, and that'll be primarily Notes and Nine related stuff. And if you don't want you know my personal tweets or so getting involved with your your stream and you just want the X pages stuff, that's the one to use. Also for Facebook at facebookcom slash Notes and Nine is a page you can go there and like it and. I post stuff. I'm trying to post new shows there as well. I'm trying to kind of get in that habit. Uh, for non note to nine stuff, there's a lot of great X Pages stuff out there, and I wanted to highlight XPages.info as the center of our universe. And that just uh, just today got a site redesigned by Mr. Bruce Elgort. So it, it looks great. It's using the new One UI 2.1 theme. And it's uh, very well done. And and Bruce just did the UI right now, so they're still gonna, they're still going to do some work on the content. And they are looking for volunteers. So if you do want to volunteer, contact him through OpenNTF, and I'm sure he'd be grateful for any help you could offer. Uh, also, there's PlantLotus.org, which is just kind of like the center for a lot of the bloggers out there. So there's a lot of X Pages stuff, but most of the X Pages stuff should be aggregated now to X Pages info, I think. But if you have a wider range of interest in X Pages, then PlantLotus.org will get you there for the Lotus world. All right, enough of that crap. Now, this is uh, I'm really very excited about this because I've got a very special guest contributor on who's never been on before. And this is this is the effort of weeks and weeks of of arm twisting and begging and and whining. And actually probably not that long. I probably just said, "Hey, can you come on to the show and 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 impart your knowledge?" And he's so humble, I think he just said, "Sure, Dave, I'll I'll do that." Uh so, uh without further ado, I want to introduce uh the newest contributor, and that's Mr. Tim X Mage Tripconi, who is uh, an X Pages genius. Uh, he's one of the top guys in the world for for X Pages material, and his title at work is actually X Mage. Uh, he works at GBS, which uh, which has the the great product, uh, the Transformer product, which he's the the development lead for for that team, and that's uh, that's a product that takes. The, your, your existing notes client based application and transforms it basically into an X pages application and I've seen a couple demos uh, brief demos about it and it's very impressive it looks looks very nice and it's uh, it's a remarkable piece of work no matter no matter what I mean that's just that's just impressive that you can take a, an existing NSF you know written you know 15 years ago and spit out some form of X page application he's also an IBM champion. 
He's uh, got a website, timchipconey.com, which which I highly recommend you monitor that. That's uh, he did the blog post on Fancy Type Ahead that I did a Note to Nine show on, and that's where that information came from. And he's also on Twitter at at Tim Tripconi. So what he's going to do today is he's going to come on the show, and 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 typically when you talk to Tim, it's it's like you, you can understand if you understand every fifth word he says. That's you know you're doing really good. I like to say it's like talking to somebody from the future who's got the formula for transparent aluminum. Um, he's just you know that kind of beyond what what you might normally think of doing because he's not actually building applications for the user he's building the tools that we use to build applications but he came, he came on and he's actually doing a, a very understandable a very well done show and this is on the application layout control which which I did a, a show on a, a couple of weeks ago and what he's going to show us how to do is kind of use a theme which I know I've not done much with because I don't understand themes that well and he's going to show us how to use a theme to control how the application layout control works to how we can use a theme to move the labels from the top uh, of of a label field of a, of an edit box to the side of an edit box. So without anything else to say, which I've already said too much, um, let's get on with the demo. In a recent episode, David showed us just how easy it is to create a nice looking form layout using the form table, form column, and form row controls in the extension library. I love these controls because as easy as the application layout control makes it to create a nice looking overall look and feel for your application. For those of us like me that still aren't masters of CSS, it can be difficult to create the, the main content of your layout and have it look nice. So as you can see, I've, I've used the techniques that David showed us in that episode. And here I have a basic contact form and it looks rather pleasant. But in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can expand on this very easily using themes to set some global defaults for your form layouts. So as you can see in this contact form, all of the labels are displaying above the fields. The way that I did this was this application is set to use this theme. It extends the purple variation of the, the One UI V2 that, uh, that ships with 8.5.3. So if I just change this, for instance, to green and then refresh the page, now certain portions of the layout are green instead of purple. But specific to the, the context of this demo, the form table has a default theme ID or style kit family of form layout dot form table. So if we add a control definition to our theme and give it a name of form layout dot form table, then we can apply certain properties that will be applied to every instance of that control. So in this case, I've set the label position to above. If I instead change that value to left, save those changes, and refresh the page. Because all of the form rows that, that contain the property of a label are set by default to inherit, now you can see that all of the labels display to the left. And that's great that it's that easy to change. The only problem is in this, uh, this two column layout by default, the label width property is, uh, is set to 15%. So if I were to inspect the element, I would see that it's applying a, a style directly in the HTML markup that is forcing these table cells to be 15% in width. So that's fine, but for a couple of these labels, it kind of squeezes it if the label's display to the left. So if I go back to my theme, 
select this property, copy it, and paste in a new one. If I change the property name to labeled width, and if instead of 15%, if I double that, say we want it to default to 30%, now when I reload the page, every form label is taking up twice the space. So now I've got a little bit more uh, room to maneuver for my form labels. And so it really is that easy. Again, just a review. The default theme ID for every form table is form layout .form table. So if you add a control definition to the theme that your application inherits from, then you can set properties that will be applied to every instance of a form table in your application. And then controls like the form row that inherit from those will have those properties uh, flowed down to them as well. And that's the demo. Uh, if you have any questions for me, this is my contact information. And I thank Tim for coming on the show. And I hope to see him again soon.